Okay, so now that our project is finished, we are going to export it. Um, we are going to export this file to the internet, so I'm going to show you internet settings, um, and I'll also talk about other settings um, along the way, okay? So, in order to export our video, we have to go down to the timeline here, and we have to mark an in point and an out point, and that tells um, Sony Vegas what you want your file length to be okay so to do that I'm going to bring my mouse up to the um, timeline here the bar up here above all the numbers and I like to use a keyboard shortcut because I want my pointer to be exactly at the end of my piece um, now I could guess I could try to click and guess I could use the arrow keys and eventually find it um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump from beginning um, of a clip to an end of a clip uh, by holding down control alt and then using the arrow keys right and left if I go left it jumps over here to the beginning of the timeline because that's where the beginning of the clip is if I hold down, down control alt and the right key it'll go to the first edit point and it considers a the beginning of the fade and edit point and that's where my um, fade is so I'm going to zoom in there, there you go so it jumps there and then if I kept hitting this keyboard combination control alt right arrow it would jump to the next end point and if I hit it again it'll go to the exact end of my video so wherever the cursor is is where you're gonna mark your end point so if your cursor is over here that's where it's gonna be I don't want it to be there obviously I want it to be at the end of my video and so there you go so now that my cursor is at the end I'm going to mark an out point because the out is where you want it to stop and the in is at the beginning where you want it to start so my out point is set right here and I have to mark it by clicking the O key on the keyboard when you do that you'll see a little yellow triangle and a bar above here now this entire bar is what's going to be rendered in our video okay so if I moved my cursor here and then hit I the I key to mark an endpoint I would have my render area between these two yellow points so since I want to do the whole entire video I'm going to go to the beginning my first frame I can either do control alt and the left key and get there or I can also hit the home key and it'll jump there as well to the beginning see the cursor here at the beginning I'll click over here okay um, now to mark my in point I hit I and there we go and um, now we're going to go up and actually start exporting so we're gonna go up to the project tab here and we're gonna go down to render as okay click on that and when you get render as you will get a render as dialog box let me zoom out here okay so we have render as it's asking where I want to save it um, and then it's going to ask you for a file name that I accidentally put X in there and then it's going to ask you for save as type what type do you want to save this as well we want to save this for the internet so we are going to uh, specifically YouTube so we are going to go with the mp4 option it gives you a small file size and it is um, a good quality video so we're going to click the drop down box here and you're going to see a lot of options and you're actually going to see a couple options for mp4 this is the Fraunhofer AAC option this is the main concept option see how it says mp4 in parentheses and down here we have Sony AVC now this one I like this one the most you feel free to mess around with the other ones but this one gives you the most options okay so I'm gonna click Sony AVC because it has the mp4 option it also gives you two more but we don't want to use those and then I'm going to on the right over here you see this I'm going to click the custom key the custom key brings up the custom template it'll give it a name and you can change you can choose to change the name if you want um, to save you as your settings I, I don't mind just leaving it how it is but I'm going to change the video rendering quality to best we want the best picture we can get and then down here there's four tabs project video audio and system 
and we're going to go to each one. So in the video tab, it still shows you the default template name and it gives you a description of the audio and video. Um, and then it gives you a bunch more options. For video format, it gives you the option of AVC or memory stick. If we pick memory stick, some of the other options are grayed out and um, this, this is not what we are using it for. We actually do want to use AVC because it's um, for multimedia, it's for the internet. Now the frame size, if you're working in high def, you can choose something along 1440 or 1920. Most people that are using high def, such as uh, not non-professional people, um, their cameras will be using the 1440 by 1080. You might have to take a look. Since I'm doing uh, some of my stuff in high def, I am going to actually I I lie. Since since I'm doing stuff in standard def, I'm going to export it as uh, for the internet for 640 by 480 okay so you you might have a different option there um, don't worry about the profile don't worry about entropy coding don't worry about the frame rate leave it out leave these all how they are field order can all be the same too because it's being based on the video that we brought into the project okay now down here in the audio tab you can leave that how you want you can also change the bit rate if you want if you're trying to squeeze out uh, maybe a s even smaller file, but really audio doesn't take up too much. The system tab um, also gives you the t default again, and it gives you different formats. Now you can see right here we have MP4, and that's what we want, but it also gives us MPEG2 if we wanted to make a DVD, we would use that, and then the video, excuse me, the video elementary stream, AVC, which is um, a stream, and we don't want to use the streaming f uh, function or anything like that. Okay, so we're going to keep it as MP4 and we're going to click OK. Then we're going to give it a name and decide where we want to save it. Put it in Colin stuff. He loves it when I trash his folders. And then click Save. And you will have a rendering box appear and it will give you the time left to render it and the elapsed time and a progress bar. You can choose to close it. I like to leave it open so I can actually see because um, I don't like to see it when it clicks off because sometimes I think that the render crashed. So I like to leave this box up. Okay. And other than that, that is exporting. Now you can choose the other files for other things, such as um, if you wanted to make an AVI and, and watch it in Windows uh, Media Player or put it on a CD. But for the most part, you're going to be making these for the internet. So I showed you the best way to make it for the internet, and that's with MP4.